Hot diggity dog, that means a package from home. I thought it would never come. I'll go help the fella unload it. It's the only way I can get your package off the truck. It must weigh a half a ton. Thought you was gonna help the man, Jethro. Yes, ma'am, Granny. <laughs> well, doggy, Cousin Pearl sure come through with a fine big box of food this time. That's food? Food and uh, other necessities. I don't know how we'd live without these packages from home, stuck out here in the middle of nowhere like this. Middle of nowhere? Lady, you're in Beverly Hills. You can buy anything here. You just walk into one of them hoity-toity stores in Beverly Hills and ask for possum livers and see how they look at you. Well, I... Possum livers? <laughs> hanging around here to see what comes out of there next. <laughs> oh, would uh, somebody sign this for me, please? I don't think the company would accept your signature. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going. I uh, hope you enjoy your cab package. <laughs> oh, boy, caught him! Pardon, he didn't hear you, Granny. <laughs> he sure don't know what he's missing. That's a fact. Listen to them crawdads thrashing around in that creek water. Well, you ain't Pearl sure did send some lively ones. There's three more pails of them in there. We sure got a dandy stock of crawdads now. You know, we ought to share some of these good things with our neighbors. Jethro, take this pail of crawdads over to the dry deal. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, just a minute, Jethro. Now, Jed. I'm all for sharing with the dry stems. But don't you think we ought to ask them to have a closed mouth as to where they got them? Or we'll be trampled with crawdad-starved city folks. Word of caution wouldn't hurt. Yes, sir. 